Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're working on a 2010 Ford F-150 two-wheel drive. We are doing the all brakes, uh, pads and rotors. Uh, in this first video, we're gonna be covering the front pads and rotors. Um, I have another video, we'll do the rears. They're real easy, simple. Make sure you have a torque wrench, um, lube, and make sure you have a good uh, brake pad kit to start with that includes a hardware kit so very simple uh, stay tuned like subscribe and share while we are doing this okay real fast too tools that you need for the front brakes is gonna be a 13 millimeter for the brake caliper sliders the 21 millimeter on the brake caliper housing and obviously your uh, lug nuts and don't forget torque wrenches so that's pretty much it that you need. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. caliper compressor too. Don't forget all this. Uh, well, that's what you need. That's for the fronts. On the rears, you need a 10 millimeter, the caliper compressor, and a torque wrench. That's it, super simple. These here caliper slider bolts are a 13 millimeter. When you are all done, you need to torque them to 24 to 27 foot pounds. I went to 24 personally on this one. a bungee cord or a strap to hold up the caliper so it's not hanging on the brake line. The one that you said was... These caliper housing to spindle bolts are 21 millimeter heads on them. And from factory, they should be torqued to about 186 foot pounds. So my gun had a little bit of a hard time getting them loose, but using a half inch and a 21 millimeter and a breaker bar, it came off pretty easy.
to get this here brake hardware kit off, I use this way too big for the job pry bar. Just push them right off. A flat head will work just fine. You just use your thumb to clip them on. On the reverse side uh, of the caliper on that housing, I use a pair of pliers. Getting a little bit harder than the inboard side, but very doable. That one went on perfect, actually. Yeah, I heard it snap. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, they're over there. Oh, these are Here on these slider pins, make sure you clean them off before you uh, put new grease on them. And make sure that you use some high temp brake grease. Uh, not too much, uh, not too little as well. Just make sure everything that's going to be in metal on metal contact, contact uh, has lubrication. So make sure everything slides in and out. Make sure you use plenty of lube. Hey, wanna go get it, Taco Mel? Oh, did he want to Taco Come on, let's go. I'm not waiting. I'm See you later, bye. Okay, real fast. When you're putting your caliper housing back together, make sure you torque everything to factory specifications. On this here 2010 Ford F-150, factory specifications for the the caliper housing to the spindle is 186 foot-pounds, um, I believe. And then your torque, now when, you're, now when you're torquing your slider pin bolt, that one is, right here, 24 to 27 is an acceptable range, 24 to 27 foot-pounds. Uh, so make sure everything gets torqued. These ones are going to need, these larger bolts need a half inch torque wrench or a three quarters inch torque wrench. These ones will need a three eighths torque wrench or a quarter inch torque wrench. When you buy brake pads and rotors, try to get a kit 
that includes the hardware that replaces your sliders or where the pads meet the side of the brake caliper housing. Um, you always want to replace these doing a brake job. It makes it so much easier, better, last longer, squeak less. Replace these. Also, these boots, they go bad over time. I haven't seen one break. Maybe one in doing this in about 15 years now. Um, but replace these too. Good kits or good brake uh, pad kits or um, brake pads, I guess, boxes come with these. So get good pads and rotors. So replace all this while you're here. Don't waste your time later and come back and do this job again twice. So get a kit with the hardware or get brakes with the hardware kit. On this one, your inboard pad is going to have the two hoops. All right, now these ones are torqued down to 24 to 27 foot pounds. I torque wrench set to 24 pounds just because these are a smaller bolt and a very, very fine thread. And also when they're properly torqued down like this, you like have a better chance of just everything flowing better. It's not over tightened, so you're not gonna be crooked or anything. Um, so torque everything down. That is one thing I have to stress more, or I need to stress more. Torque shit down. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, put the wheel on, and I'm gonna torque down my lug nuts too. Uh, I think we're talking down to 110 pounds on this one. All right, that's it. These brakes are super simple. Make sure you torque everything down. I know the rears, we didn't torque down uh, that 10 millimeter bolt. Uh, don't go too tight on those. Uh, I wouldn't imagine more than a 24 foot pound um, torque specification on that. But with that balancer thing on them, uh, it's gonna be hard to torque down anyway. So um, that's it for these brakes, the front and rears. They're super easy. Hopefully this helps you out make sure you check out below uh, for the parts needed so like subscribe and share and i'll see you on the next one